Hi, I'm Mickey Gousset. Welcome to this video on multi-configuration jobs. In this video, we are going to look at what does multi-configuration jobs actually mean and look at some examples of multi-configuration jobs. Let's start out with what does multi-configuration mean? You can create a single job in your YAML file and execute multiple copies of that job, each with different inputs. You can even have those multiple copies running in parallel on multiple agents at the same time. This is what is known as multi-configuration jobs, the ability to reuse the same job over and over with different inputs. This can be very useful when you need to build or test against multiple environments or frameworks. For example, you want to confirm your Python code builds and the tests work against multiple versions of the framework. You can create one job that does the build and testing and then use multi-configuration to execute that job multiple times, each time telling it to use a different version of the Python framework. There are some keywords around multi-configuration that we need to look at. The first keyword is strategy. This specifies the section in your YAML file where you are going to define how your multi-configuration works. In this video, we're going to look at the matrix strategy. There is also what's called the parallel strategy, which is used to slice up a large test matrix. We will address that in a future video. For now, we will stick with the matrix strategy. Use of a matrix generates copies of a job, each with different inputs as specified by the matrix itself. This can be useful for testing against different configurations or platform versions. For each occurrence of string one in the matrix, a copy of the job is generated. The name string one is the copy's name and is appended to the name of the actual job. Then, for each occurrence of string2, a variable with the same name as string2 with the value of string3 is available to that job. So what we have is string1 being the name of the specific instance of the job we're going to run, and then string two and string three. String two are the variables that we want to pass in to that specific instance, and string three are the values of those variables. Trust me, this will make a little more sense with an example. There's also an optional keyword called max parallel, and this keyword specifies the maximum number of simultaneous matrix jobs to run at the same time. If max parallel is unspecified or if it is set to zero, no limit is applied. So therefore you could be restrained by the number of pipelines that you have in your organization to use with your team project. So let's look at an example of using this matrix configuration. So we're going to flip over to Azure DevOps. 
And here we are in Azure DevOps. And in my repo, I have created a new folder. And in that folder, I've created a YAML file for my build. Now, by now, you're probably starting to see that the YAML files are looking very similar, which is good. You can see I've set the trigger to be none. So it's going to be triggered manually. I'm having this run on a Ubuntu virtual machine. And I've specified one stage, which I'm calling my stage. And I've specified only one job called my job. Now, if we look down at the steps for that job, it's just running a script that's echo echoing out two variables, version and app name. And that step has a name echo variables. Where the work happens, though, is we're specifying a strategy here. So we are specifying max parallel is zero, which means that it will execute as many parallel runs of this job at the same time as it can. And then here's my matrix. So remember, matrix was made up of string one, string two, and string three. Job one, job two, and job three are that string one value. These are the actual names of that particular instance of the job that's going to run. So this is what will be appended to the end of my job when you see it in the um, output. Then for each job, I'm specifying a variable and a value for that variable. So you can see I'm specifying version 1.0 with a app name of foo, version 2.0 with an app name of bar, and version 3.0 with an app name of foobar. And down in the script, in the step that's going to run, the task that's going to run in this job, it just echoes out those variable values. So what we should see is when we execute this is we should see three different jobs run, each with a name of job one, job two, job three, and each outputting the values for version and app name for that particular job. So if we go over to pipelines and we say new pipeline and we'll say use Azure Git repos. We're going to select an existing YAML file and we'll select our multi-configuration YAML file. So here is my YAML file. I'm going to save my changes. And I'm going to edit this pipeline. And I'm going to change the name to be 007, 001 multi configuration pipeline. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to queue it. And we will say save and run. Now, what we should see is so now what we should see are my three jobs and they're waiting to be queued. And because I have that max parallel set to zero, all three jobs run at once. Remember, I have a public project, so therefore I get 10 free pipelines. You can see how fast that ran. And if I come in here and look at the first job, you'll see that it has the job name of my job, but then it appends the matrix name, job one, job two, and job three. And if I look at the echo variable step, it echoed out one and foo. Then it echoed out two in bar. And then it echoed out three in foo bar. So let's go back to our YAML file and let's change the max parallel to be one. So what this means is I only want one job to run at a time. So let's save this modified max parallel. 
parallel to B1. And I'm going to click Save. And then we're going to run this pipeline. And now what we're going to see is we'll end up still have three jobs, but they're going to execute one after the other. So you can see the first one starting to run while the other two are waiting. First one's finished. We're waiting for job two and job three to, we're waiting for job two to queue up. Job two queued up and finished. And then we can see job three is now running as well. So the idea here is to be able to create your jobs. So if we go back to our pipeline, the idea is to be able to create a job and the steps in that job such that they could be reused so that all you have to do is pass in different variable values and therefore we can reuse the steps. So in this video we looked at what exactly is a multi-configuration job and how we use the keywords strategy and matrix to execute the same job steps multiple times using different inputs. Thanks for watching.